we're going to go over nine things that the Canadian government is doing to provide financial support during the coronavirus COVID-19 crisis. Let's do this. How's it going? My name is John and I am a mortgage broker located in Canada and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn ways to be approved for a mortgage, home buying tips and other mortgage related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking on the notification button so you won't miss anything. The coronavirus COVID-19 crisis has affected all of us. But because of physical and social distancing, many people are laid off resulting in great financial distress. Here are nine things that the Canadian government is doing to help you get through this difficult time. I'm only going to go through what the Canadian federal government is doing because each province will have additional financial support that will be different based on where you live. Number one, employment insurance, sickness benefits. If you are sick or quarantined or forced to stay home to care for our children and are traditionally eligible for employment insurance, this program is for you. It provides up to 15 weeks of income support of up to 55% of your earnings and up to maximum of $573 per week. Here are the qualifications. You don't need a doctor's note or a medical certificate. However, you will need a record of employment from your employer. As this may take longer to obtain, request it as soon as possible. There's usually a one week waiting period, but it can be waived after your application is submitted. If you want to get it waived, you must call 1-833-381-2725 to have your waiting period waived. Number four, increases to the Canada Child Benefit payments. For individuals or families that receive CCB payments, a one-time additional $300 per child payment will occur for all CCB recipients on your May payment. And on top of this one-time bonus, you will also receive an additional $300 per child that will be spread out over 12 months, which works out to be an extra $25 per month per child. Number five, increases to GST tax credit. For individuals that receive quarterly GST tax credit payments, a one-time special payment equal to double your annual GST tax credit payments to be made in early May 2020. Number six, interest-free suspension of student loan payments. For individuals that are currently repaying student loans, a six-month interest-free suspension of payments will occur. This is effective immediately. Number seven, Retired individuals, a 25% reduction in the required minimum withdrawal for RIFs for 2020 will be implemented to assist with maintaining portfolio values during periods of market volatility. Number eight, extension on tax filing deadlines and income tax due dates. Individual returns are now due June 1st, 2020 instead of April 30th. Personal income tax payments can be deferred until August 31st, 2020. If you've already filed your taxes and owe the government money, you now have until August 31st to pay. Businesses will also be able to defer income tax payments until August 31st. The CRA will also stop auditing businesses for the next four weeks. And lastly, number nine, mortgage deferral. You can defer your mortgage payment up to six months deferrals for those impacted by layoffs and closures. This may include situations such as pay or childcare disruption or illness. For uninsured mortgages, many lenders offer flexible payment options as well. There may also be relief for other credit products. And there you go. We just shared with you nine things that the Canadian government is doing to provide financial support during the Corona COVID-19 crisis. It's a difficult time for many of us, but we're all in this together. Please stay home and stay healthy. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more and make sure you click on the notification button so you won't miss a video. 
I'm John Lee, mortgage broker and CEO of Arise Mortgage. We are always achieving your approval.